Hi everyone, this is Dr. Balasai. So welcome to my channel. This is an attempt to share my knowledge through this channel uh, to the budding medical students. So this is my first session. Topic for today is General Anatomy Introduction. These classes are based on B.D. Chaurasia's Handbook of General Anatomy. Uh, so let's start with it. So uh, the topic is General Anatomy Introduction. In that, let me know what is anatomy. So anatomy is a science which deals with study of structure of human body so the term anatomy is derived from the greek word called anatom which means cutting off or cutting up yeah so this is equivalent to a latin terminology called as dissection so uh, though these terms anatom and dissections are not synonymous to each other uh, the anatomy is itself the science or the study of uh, this human body structure and dissection merely a technique uh by which this anatomy is studied so there are many subdivisions of the subject uh, which include as we shown here cadaveric anatomy so what is a cadaveric anatomy cadaveric anatomy is study of human body structures but in a cadaver what is a cadaver cadaver is a preserved dead body so which is preserved with the help of a process called as embalming so embalming is a process by which a embalming fluid in which the formaldehyde being the major constituent of that fluid is being thoroughly injected uh, simultaneously the blood is aspirated so that the complete blood compartment of, of the dead body is replaced by this preservative fluid called as embalming fluid now this uh, body can be preserved for years and uh, the anatomy can be studied in detail using this body so this is the uh, pro, uh, this is the way we study anatomy in our dissection hall so uh, the first year medical students do uh, uh, spend their a lot of time like daily two hours in the dissection hall in which they can study different structures of the human body through various approaches so usually two approaches are followed one is the regional approach where you will read the anatomy region wise like from head and neck upper limb lower limb thorax abdomen and so on or another way of uh, another approach by which cadaveric anatomy can be studied is system wise called as systemic anatomy where you will read like uh, you will read uh, the skeleton anatomy the skeletal system and cardio cardiac anatomy that is the anatomy of heart respiratory system digestive system locomotory system regarding um, all the muscles which is which comes under myology muscular system so all these Either come under this systemic approach or the systemic anatomy approach so uh, this is one branch of the anatomy where we deal with cadavers and uh, the book which usually most of the graduate students will prefer is cunningham the another branch of anatomy being the embryology so embryology is otherwise called as developmental anatomy where we read or we study the development of the zygote to a fetus so the various stages of development how the zygote is forming the complete fetus this uh, step by step approach will be uh, dealt in the subdivision of this anatomy called as embryology which will ha will have a separate sessions for this and another branch which is very interesting called as histology where you read anatomy through microscopes so using microscope you will read the structure of various organs so each organ has its own characteristic microscopy or histology which is also another subdivision of anatomy you will be dealing with your first mbbs other than this we also uh, hear a term called as living anatomy from the textbook we follow so living anatomy refers to the study of different structures that these subheadings like inspection palpation percussion and auscultation inspection is what you see what you visualize and analyze like uh, any color change of the skin any extra growth of us uh, of any particular structure that is inspection so inspection is the things which you perceive by seeing through your vision and palpation is something which you feel you you feel it by palpating or by using your hands you will touch the patient and you will palpate this picture given over here is not exactly inspection is so just to understand uh, the picture was given but inspection is done without touching the patient yeah palpation well i mean you need to feel the uh, different structures by palpating by touching the 
different structures like here he is palpating the radial artery to feel the radial artery and percussion percussion is another mechanism by which you can uh, assess the anatomy of a organ like the hollow hollow organs gives a resonant note and the solid organs usually give a dull note on percussion so uh, which you will be dealing in physiology the general examination part and auscultation is something which the process of hearing sounds produced by heart lungs uh, git or various organs usually done with the use of stethoscope is called as auscultation so these are the various methods by which the living anatomy that is nothing but the examination general examination or the systemic examination of a subject or the patient can be done so another subdivision we need to know over here is radiographic anatomy radiograph studying different structures using radiographs like x-rays mri ct scans so uh, for this the sound knowledge of anatomy is required to understand the radiology next one is topographic or surface anatomy so topographic or surface anatomy is nothing but studying the various structures by knowing its relation towards the outermost covering of the human body that's the skin so here for example he in this picture it has been shown that there is a line which is drawn from the d2 spine that is t2 spine second thoracic spine towards the fifth rib in the mid axillary line axilla is your armpit so a mid line towards your armpit is called as mid axillary line so this oblique line this represents the oblique fissure of the lung so lung has three lobes in which the upper lobe and lower lobe are divided by a fissure called as oblique fissure so this this line which is drawn on the surface of the skin exactly represents the oblique fissure of the inside organ which is lung so this is called a surface anatomy or topographic anatomy which is very useful for understanding the clinical concepts the very important and the very important sub branch is the applied anatomy or the clinical anatomy that's a branch where that's a div sub division where we study the diseases or disorders related to that particular anatomical structures so whenever you read a anatomy of a particular structure particular uh, organ you need to know some basics of the clinical anatomy of that particular structure like uh, some diseases or disorders at least the basics so that which will be useful for you while dealing with the clinical subjects yeah so this is about the various uh, branches in the anatomy or the various subdivisions of the anatomy next is regarding the positions of the body so the positions of the body is um uh, needed to be demonstrated and also defined to understand the concepts of anatomy and also to understand the terminologies which we read in anatomy so the first position and very important position is a basic position called as anatomical position so what is an anatomical position an anatomical position is nothing but this is the anatomical position so when so when a person is standing straight with his eyes looking forward and the both arms are on the side of the body and the palms are facing forward as shown in this picture and the both the feet are together the position is called as anatomical position so when a person is standing straight with eyes looking forward both the arms side by side palms facing forward and the both the feet together as shown in this picture the position is called as anatomical position so anatomical position is a basic position need to be Uh, known for everyone because the terminologies related to anatomy like anterior posterior superior inferior are in relation to the anatomical position so other position you need to know are supine prone and lithotomy position which were given in your textbook supine position supine position is nothing but it's the anatomical position on lying on back that's as simple as that that is when a person is lying on his or her back arms by the side palms facing upwards and the feet put together as shown in this picture this is called as supine position that is lying on back is called as supine position if the same person if a person lying on his face the front part of his chest simply i mean it's like a uh, person lying on his or her face chest and abdomen is said to be prone position as simple as that so when a person is lying on his face chest and abdomen and the both the legs together downwards it is called as prone position so what is lithotomy positions uh, when the person lying 
on her back but with her legs up and feet supported in straps so feet are usually supported in straps over here this position is usually um, used during delivery of the baby so this is called as lithotomy position where the person is lying on her, her back with her legs up and the feet are supported by straps so here the strap should be there uh, this is not the i mean uh, straps are uh, used to support her feet this position is used for delivery of the baby mostly delivery so next next concept regarding the various body planes so uh, basic three body planes are to be known because um, we when we are reading about the anatomy of various organs then when we are reading with the gross anatomy of various organs so gross anatomy is nothing but the cadaveric anatomy where we uh, read organ as a whole system as a whole is called as gross anatomy microscopic anatomy is otherwise called as histology which we already been discussed in the first slide so here when we are uh, reading the gross anatomy there are various pictures given uh, in one particular cross section either in a sagittal section or a coronal section or a transverse section so if you want to imagine that in your books you need to know about these planes these are the basics so what is sagittal plane as simple as that sagittal plane is a plane that divides the human body into right and left halves so any plane that divides the body into right and left halves is called a sagittal plane so a sagittal section of a human organ of a structure means if you cut this way and if you look through that section how the structures are visualized that is called as sagittal section so that we will be dealing in um, systemic anatomy so sagittal plane is dividing the human body into right and left halves what is coronal plane coronal plane is dividing the human body into front and back halves otherwise called as anterior half and posterior half for front is otherwise called as anterior back is otherwise called as posterior so coronal plane is something which is dividing the human body into anterior and posterior halves what is transverse plane so transverse plane is something as seen in the picture what is transverse plane it is dividing the human body into upper and lower halves the human body is divided into upper and lower this is called as transverse plane so these planes are very important to understand the sections and another another plane called as parasagittal plane what is it called parasagittal plane sagittal plane so what is parasagittal anywhere in anatomy para means which is exactly sidewards is called as para para is something which is exactly sidewards just behind just sidewards so any plane which is parallel to sagittal plane is called as parasagittal plane so parasagittal plane is also dividing the human body into right and left parts but not equal halves that's uh, that's you want to that's you need to know so parasagittal plane is also a parallel plane to sagittal plane and it is dividing the human body into uh, right and left parts not the halves not halves they are dividing into di right and left parts so this is a parasagittal plane so you need to know about these four planes in order to understand the Uh, sections in the uh, given section diagrams in different organs of systemic anatomy so that's all with our first session thank you so and please do like and subscribe for uh, further content